Hello, guys. Today we will be reading the second story from Five Minute Racing Stories,、um, and it's called Revved Up in Radiator Springs. So let's read it together. Life in Radiator Springs was about to change forever. Doc and I want to build a racing headquarters near the town. Lightning McQueen told Sally. Doc Hudson nodded. It will be a special design, a first-class track that won't spoil our beautiful desert landscape. That's a great idea," said Sally. "The new track will put Radiator Springs back on the map." Soon, Radiator Springs was the talk of the racing world. For the grand opening race, Lightning and Doc sent invitations to race cars everywhere. Lightning was looking forward to racing against two famous cars from Europe, Otto from Germany and Gudmund from Sweden. They were both cool, super fast cars. Soon, race cars began to arrive from all over. The cars from Europe drove really fast. An outraged sheriff kept giving out speeding tickets, but the cars did not understand. Otto, the silver car from Germany, kept rolling his front tire over the speeding ticket. He thought sheriff was asking for his autograph. In town, Otto tried to ask Lizzie for directions to the stadium, but Lizzie didn't understand. She thought Otto wanted to purchase her deluxe Radiator Springs t- sticker set. Soon, Otto was covered in bumper stickers. Lightning couldn't help laughing at a sticker-covered Otto. He led the race car to Ramon's body shop for a fresh paint job. As they drove away, Lizzie tooted her t- horn. As the time for the race approached, Lightning and his friends decided to take a look at the new stadium. Wait, Lightning! Sheriff said, driving up alongside him. Goodman isn't here. I'm worried he might be lost. Lightning was worried too. Let's form a search party, he said. Mater offered to help too. As long as we don't have to go into any caves, he said. Lightning, Sheriff, and Mater searched all day and into the night. They couldn't find Goodman anywhere. There was just one last place to look: the caves. You want to go in there? Mater asked, his voice shaking. We don't have time to be scared, Sheriff said. We have to find Goodman. Bravely, Sheriff led Lightning and Mater into the dark cave. The three cars pulled into the cavern. Suddenly, they saw flickering lights up ahead. "What you do with Goodman, you no good ghost!" shouted Mater, trying to hide behind Lightning. "That's no ghost!" exclaimed Lightning. "It's Goodman." Goodman was an explorer. He had roof lights that were perfect for mountain roads and caves. He wasn't lost. He was just exploring the caverns around. Radiator Springs. Hey, Lightning said Goodman. Driving in here is a blast. Wanna join me? You bet, answered Lightning, as he revved his engine. Since Lightning didn't have headlights, Sheriff set him up with night vision goggles. As Lightning and Goodman raced through the caves together, Mater stayed outside. If you fellas need anything, just honk your horns, and I'll send in sheriff," said Mater. The next morning, all the race cars showed up for the first Radiator Springs International Invitational. Before the crowds arrived, the cars met to go over the rules and to welcome their special announcer, Mater. Check one, two, four," said Mater. "Is this thing on?" He tapped the microphone. Then it started to screech. Ooh, my ears! Said Sally. Maybe we should have asked Bob Cutlass to announce. He's a professional. That may be so, said Doc as he headed down to the pit. But nobody can replace our mater. He'll do just fine. Mater was a great announcer. 
And they're off, he said excitedly into the microphone. Otto from Germany is neck and neck with our very own Lightning McQueen. The crowd cheered as the cars whipped around the track. I've never seen Lightning race so hard, said Sally. He's never raced against a car like Otto, Doc said. I hope Lightning doesn't wear himself out too fast. Lightning and Otto were both worn out. They had raced hard and they were running out of steam. Lightning looked at the stands and saw Mater, Doc, Sally and his other friends. They were so excited. This was the first race in their new stadium. Lightning knew he had to dig deeper. He had to win his this one for Radiator Springs. In the home stretch, Lightning heard his friend Mater call to him over the loudspeaker. Come on, buddy, you could do it. Grinning, Lightning gunned his engine. This one's for you, Mater, he hollered. Then he sped across the finish line, tongue first. After the race, Lightning invited Otto and Goodman to stay in town for a while. There is more to Radiator Springs than racing, he said. Around here, fun and friendship mean way more than trophies. So that was the end of our second story. I hope you guys liked it. Please let me know if you liked it in the comment section below. Um, I'll see you next time with the third story. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.